I have been asked a ton of times on Tumblr and Instagram on what to do with an empty notebook. And I think that this is a really valid question because I have a ton of notebooks that I haven't really used yet and I plan on using. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of the notebooks that I currently keep as well as some ideas that I found online and things that I plan to do in the future. First of all, I have a Muji B5 notebook and this is what I use for my bullet journal. And a bullet journal is a super flexible planning system that you can really create on your own. I have a ton of videos on bullet journaling on my channel, so if you kind of want to know more about the system and how I use it, definitely check those out. But that's definitely something I would recommend for anyone who just has an extra notebook laying around. Expressing gratitude is something that has been scientifically proven to help you live a healthier and happier life. And with that in mind, I started a gratitude journal where I record at least one thing that I am grateful for each day. And I decided to make this a really quick entry type things so it's easy for me to keep up during the school year and I think that this will be a great thing to look back on in the future if I'm ever really stressed out I can just look at all the really good positive things that I have in my life so I'm really excited to see how this notebook works out for me the last notebook that I use on a pretty regular basis is this one from bloom daily planners I absolutely love this cover design and I use this as my journal where I just write down all of my thoughts and things that went on during the day I try my best to journal every day, but it can be really, really difficult to do so when you have a lot of things going on, especially as like a really busy student. And so I try my best to keep up with it, but I think journaling is a really beneficial thing to do, so I would recommend trying that for anyone who has an extra empty notebook lying around. If you have an empty notebook lying around, then it might be a really cool idea to start a travel journal. I have always wanted to have a separate notebook dedicated to traveling, but I've never really had the time to do so. In that, you could put things like packing lists, a list of all the places you'd like to go. You could plan out trips with like itineraries and as you're traveling, you could journal each day and keep little mementos like ticket stubs and receipts and things like that. So I think that having a travel journal would be a really cool thing to look at in the future just to like reflect back on all the cool times you've had. And that's just something you could do if you have an extra notebook. You could keep a notebook for your reviews of things like movies, TV shows, music, etc. You might think that it'd be a good idea to keep lists of like your favorite things of each category just so that way you can just kind of keep updating it and I think it's really fun to look back and see like what my favorite songs were when I was at like in the third grade and it's just something really neat and cool to kind of keep track of to see how your tastes change over time. I think it's also a cool idea to maybe have a notebook dedicated to a pet or a notebook that is dedicated to like poetry or creative writing. You could do something really artsy and like have like a sketchbook. You could have like a sticker collection notebook, a journal for gardening, maybe just for photos and write little captions beneath it just as a cool like way to keep track of everything going on in your life. You might have a notebook for mood boards where you just print out photos from online that inspire you to do better and have that notebook available to you as a source of motivation. You might do a dream journal, a sentence a day journal, you could do journaling challenges and prompts. There are a ton online that I've seen, things on Instagram and those sort of things. You could do like an astronomy journal, a happiness journal, quote collections. Like honestly, the possibilities are endless and really like little empty notebooks are your blank canvases. I think that it's just so cool that you can do anything with notebooks. And if you guys have any suggestions for things to do with an empty notebook, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'm definitely always looking for new things to do. And so I hope that this kind of gave you some ideas if you have a ton of extra notebooks like me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can add me on Snapchat and follow me on my Instagram and Tumblr account. Bye guys!